I thought I would just put together a quick guide for Hackmatch to anyone having trouble with this game, show you, exact, show you some tips, and showcase exactly how you get through this. So, let's get started. First thing I want to talk about, well, so Hackmatch is a basic color matching puzzle game. You match four of a kind, and they disappear. Uh, that doesn't actually do anything in this version of the game. You notice that our boss's health bar is not going down. If, if we only match four of a kind, still not going down. If I match five of a kind, we do one little pixel of damage. That's not going to do much either. So, really, in order to do get big damage... Okay, that garbage is a little rude, but it's going to actually revert back to the same it was. And if you remember, those were purples, and when these yellow fall, that's going to chain into the purples. And that's going to be a much more efficient way to deal damage. See a much bigger chunk of his health bar went out. So, you want to try and always be chaining as much as possible. So, I'm going to set up these blues on top of the yellow. Actually, I'm going to get another yellow, and that's going to be a three chain. Now, I set this off. Oh, wait. <laughs> I can't count. I, that, I only had... Four yellow. I only had three yellows there. I also can't count. That didn't do what I wanted to do. Also, you notice, I'm not just picking up pieces and putting them back down. I'm using the swap button here, which is an incredibly vital tool to actually manipulate your stack. If you're only picking up and dropping the top piece, of piece you're really limited in what you can do. But with the swap button, you can, you can really just... You can dig deep. You can fetch a piece from three, three deep and put it back in three deep. So, try and practice just picking up and depositing things where they need to go. And, three chain like this. And get some BP clears. And clearing two at once, that counts. Two colors at once, that also counts as... Because all that matters is that it's just more than more than four pieces are getting cleared together. Doesn't game does not care how you clear them. There's no further multiplier on large chains. Just as long as you're do just as long as you're doing things that are more than bear clears. Everything past four deals exactly one point of damage. You see, I, those cheers, like, I just did things while the other clears were going. Weren't even connected yeah. as chains, really, but it still counts. Alright, this is a little pesky to dig through. So, I don't really see good chain opportunities, but I can see a few just big clears I can do. Okay, there we go. Let's get this purple in here. Against Engine Eater, whoops. I really want to try and get horizontal clears next to the garbage to dig it all out. I'm just getting these bare clears right now. Okay, there's a chain. There we go. A little bit slow, but flow is fine. Chip him down sooner or later. He's not going to get his health back. All right, and now we come on to the final boss, Exanina here. All right, I'm going to set up. I got something big cooking here. That's a nice big four chain. Showing off a little bit. You do not need to get that big in order to get through this. But I like to get big. Now, the thing about Exanina is when she attacks, she's going to convert everything that's on screen into garbage. And her attack is about to come in. But before it lands, I clear away as much as I can. And that was perfect. So, look at how. Not much on screen, not much garbage. And we can dig through this very easily now. 
Whoops. Um, I'm swapping wrong, putting the... Burying the piece I wanted to pick up. And she's very close to death, if we can just... If I can find anything that does damage. I'm not really doing much in the way of damage here. Okay, that'll kill. Yeah, if she gets a second attack off, you're not going to clean your screen back out. So you've got to kill her before attack two. And there you have it. That's a, just an easy one credit clear. Just don't get hit by Exodina's attack. That's really all you need. As long as you clear the screen out before that attack hits, everything else is easy. So, yeah, I hope this video helped. Uh, and let me know if you got the achievement. Thanks for watching. Bye.